How's it going, everybody? Gemini just 5280 here with Palm Beach Max International Airport update number two. Um, for those of you who didn't make it for the last update of Palm Beach Max, uh, the first one, um, it's a pretty special update here. It's my little modified version of Palm Beach International Airport, um, which I do as well. Um, but this version includes uh, some additional routes, uh, bigger airport area, um, and uh, some international flights, um, as well as just a much busier airport. Um, try to keep everything based on origin or um, routes that are in the real Palm Beach. Um, but I also have added a couple things in there that I think would fit pretty well. So I'll uh, give you a quick little tour of the airport and then we'll uh, begin with our uh, update. So uh, over here is our original Palm Beach mat, um, the one that's currently not in use. Um, we got a runway here. Um, I've shuffled up where the airlines are parked pretty much their opposite where they used to be on this mat, um, just to make things a little more interesting. But here we got our two United Gates, uh, part of Delta, Alaska Gate there. Um, in the back over on the other concourse, we got American. Um, then we got JetBlue falling down here. Um, and Southwest, and there is a common use gate, uh, a couple of common use gates scattered through there. Um, we got another runway on the other side here, two hard stands where our 737 Maxes are. Um, uh, if you don't know where that is, I'll mention it later. Um, then we got Air Canada, um, which usually serves Palm Beach, Alaska, some hard stand gates here, Spirit goes in the end, Sun Country at the common use, Allegiant at the common use. Um, then we got our Frontier gate here. Um, then this is a new gate I just added for those of you who saw the last one. And then a wide body gate for Delta, and then some more Delta gates here on another uh, map. So um, that's the less interesting part. I'm going to get to the rest of our update now. Um, we're going to start off right here at gate B2. Um, actually, sorry, we're going to come back a little bit later. Right now we're on runway 35, where we have a Delta 737-700 touching down uh, from New York's JFK Airport. Now over here to our United uh, 8 through 19, just landed in from San Francisco, taxiing gate pre Taxing into gate B is in Bravo 2, um, just arriving. Next up is our United 757-300. Um, and this aircraft, oh man, I'm just such a mess. We're gonna actually come back to this later, it's later on my list. But uh, next down here, JetBlue, uh, Blue Finest, um, taxing in from JFK, uh, New York. Um, this A320 is headed into uh, over on the sea concourse. We're moving over to the rest of the seat concourse. Uh, I gotta walk around the table. Um, uh, first up is um, at the hard stand gate here is an American Airbus A321. Uh, passengers are deplaning from Dallas, Fort Worth, and Texas. Next up, we have an American Airbus A320 um, headed out to Charlotte. Then pulling into the gate, we got uh, two wide body 767s here. We got our first 767-300 pulling in from Los Angeles. Um, then the next one, the 767 One World, um, loading up for London Heathrow for American. Um, that's a fictional word. Both these are fictional, but digging it in here. Then we've got an American Gate, followed by our American Eagle Envoy Embraer 145 headed to St. Louis. Um, after that, we got two Americans. Embraer E190 was serviced to Washington's Reagan National Airport, final boarding call. Then an American 737 800, getting the passengers deplaned from Chicago's O'Hare International Airport. Next up, we got our JetBlue gate here. A JetBlue gate. Just move that. 738. Um, got JetBlue 190 here, boarding for Washington's Reagan National Airport. Um, oh, sorry, this, yep, that is where it's going. Um, then up is a JetBlue 320 boarding for Westchester uh, County Airport in New York, um, White Plains. Two empty JetBlue gates, um, and then we have a JetBlue 320 boarding for uh, Hartford Windsor Locks Airport in Connecticut. I'm gonna get to those um, once I get back here to a better uh, angle, just because it's tough to walk back there with the buildings. Uh, Southwest 737-700 headed out to Long Island Islip. Then Southwest 737-700 came in from Atlanta, headed out to Chicago Midway. Um, that's actually a really good view of the airplane. Looks really clear. Um, then I got two empty Southwest gates here. Um, one was a once taxing out. One was a canceled flight due to the Max engine issues. Then here we have our two two of our 737 Max 8s um, on the hard stand as they are grounded due to an MCAS issue. Got Air Canada came in grounded from Toronto Pearson and um, Southwest um, is grounded from Baltimore Dallas turn. So uh, we're going to pretend this is right when they grounded them. Um, haven't been sent back to their hubs yet if they're allowed to do a ferry flight. Um, kind of cool. I know American was able to do ferry flights. Um, I think they did them to Tulsa. So they brought them out of wherever they were uh, on the ground currently to go to Tulsa um, after they were grounded here in the United States. 
Um, next up, we're gonna move to our taxi line here for the runway. Um, first up is our JetBlue Airbus A320 um, retro colors. Uh, this aircraft taxiing out for a flight to New York's LaGuardia Airport. After that, it's a JetBlue 320 with the barcode tail and sharklets taxiing out to Providence. All right, CF Green. After that, it's a Delta 757-200. Uh, number three for departure to Atlanta, Georgia. After that, it's an American Airbus A319. Uh, number two in line for departure to Philadelphia. And then um, on the runway. Oh, whoops, sorry about that. Uh, next up is a Southwest 737-800 uh, lining up for a flight to Atlanta, Georgia. And then just departing off the runway is United 737 Eco Skies, 900 ER departing for Newark. Uh, now we're going to move back in here to our taxiway by the hard stands. First up is a Spirit Airbus A319. Uh, or sorry, not an A319. A321. Don't know why I thought it was a 319. Number four for departure to Atlantic City. Head out right after the Delta. Just taxi out of this gate right here. And then we're going to move um, down the line to our... Um, eight concours. Um, just ready to board is a Frontier of SA320. Uh, Neo, Poppy the Prairie Dog. This aircraft will be headed to Raleigh Durham. Uh, just pushing back out of gate Alpha 10 is a Frontier Airbus A321. And this aircraft um, will be heading to Denver, Colorado. Um, next up is an Allegiant Airbus A319. Um, we'll be operating a flight to Cincinnati. After that, Sun Country 737-800 headed to Minneapolis, St. Paul. Then an Alaska Airbus A321 Neo headed to San Francisco. On the other side there, we have an Alaska, sorry, man, I'm just a total mess. Air Canada Airbus A320 will be operating a flight to Montreal. And then after that is an Air Mexico 737-700, which will be operating a flight to Mexico City. I put the phone down just for one second. I'll off up the page. Uh, next up is our Delta wide body gate here, um, now equipped with a jetway. Uh, this is new in the update. I added this building extension, which is used for um, a couple of different airports that I have. But taxiing to this gate is the Delta 767-400 series um, coming in from Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport in France. So two uh, transatlantic flights here at the airport now. Uh, they'll be seasonal for spring break and um, over winter time as well. Next up is a Delta A320. This aircraft will be heading to New York LaGuardia. After that, it's a Delta 737-800. We'll be operating a flight to Detroit Metro. Empty Delta gate. And then just pulled into gate A15 is a Delta CRJ900. Operated by Endeavor Air. Came in from Raleigh Durham. Next up is a Delta A319. This aircraft will be heading to New York JFK. So that's a Delta and McDonnell Douglas MD-88 headed to Atlanta. Alaska 737-800 cars livery will be going to uh, Seattle-Tacoma. Empty Delta gate, where you can see out there on the taxiway is a McDonnell Douglas MD-90. Get this zoomed if it'll work. There we go. Um, the MD-90 uh, just pushed back for a flight to uh, Minneapolis-St. Paul. And then next up's a Delta. Connection operated by Republic U170 will be operating a flight to Boston Logan. Next up at the hard stand gate or the, the air stairs gate is a Delta 717. We'll be heading to Cincinnati. Then our big Delta 757-300 will be operating to Los Angeles. Then Delta A319 will be heading to Salt Lake City. And finally, we're back to this United 757-300, which will be heading to Chicago O'Hare. And then we end off the update with an empty United gate. So that concludes um, Palm Beach Max Airport update number two. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Um, it's a really fun airport to do. I like doing um, fictional, but based on a real one. So I have something to go off of, but can also kind of add in things that I think fit pretty well. Um, haven't decided yet if I'm going to do a uh, basically like a wide body airport update with all my wide body aircraft. I think there's just enough space to fit them all on this mat, which would be super cool. Um, or the other option would be just to keep going with the update string and do Great Lakes Intercontinental. Um, I've also been requested to do a collection update, so um, I'll try to get something along the lines of that done pretty soon. Um, it is a very, I do have a very large collection, not trying to brag, but it's very difficult to put that together. Um, just if I do it the way I want to do it, which includes a lot of information and stuff. Um, 
but that's definitely something I'm interested in. If, you, if you're interested to see that, uh, drop me a comment down below. Um, just say collection update, yeah, or something like that. Um, but uh, not going to keep you too much longer. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the Palm Beach Max Airport. Um, and if you'd rather see Great Lakes next, or if you would rather see um, a wide body airport fictional one, maybe we do something based on Los Angeles, because I think most things fly there. Um, let me know what you think, and I'll uh, see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. See you later.